let's look at how to overload operators with classes here. So first of all, I'm going to create a class. So this will be class and I'll call it cost just to keep track of amount. And my cost class has a private variable, which would be a float for amount. And this class also has public variables. So I will have a constructor. So cost, and let's say it passes in an amount, float AMT, and we'll initialize it to just be an initial value of zero if nothing is passed in. And we'll just set it right here with this amount equals AMT. All right, so at this point I can create objects of this, well, this class. Well, let's go ahead and make it a little bit of a getter and setter so as you get amount, uh, make that a float, float. And don't need to pass anything. All I'm going to do is just return this amount. And we'll get a setter, so void set amount float AMT and this one is going to just set the amount. So this amount equals AMT. All right. At this point I can go ahead and create some of these objects and see what happens. So I'll do a cost, let's say Apple and let's say uh, an apple set amount is, uh, let's say it's 99 cents. 99 cents. All right, and let's do another one, cost banana. And let's say we're going to actually use the constructor here, and we'll say a banana cost uh, 69 cents. All right, so now we've got two different objects created with different ways. One, it starts out as zero, and then the amount is set to 99. And the other one, it is created as 69. And then I want to have a, well, let's print out what they are now. So I'll say that my apple, apple cost is going to be apple get amount. And let's do the same thing with the banana. And let's just make sure that these things work properly. All right, so run that. And we will see that apple is 99 and banana is 69. All right, now for the overloading part. Let's say I create a new cost. And we'll say this is a total. So it's a total amount of something. And I want to display total right here. So I'll take this thing, copy it and paste it and change this to total. Total. And maybe I want to add some things up. So what do I do? Well, I could say, well, I want to do total equals total plus Apple. And it says, wait a second, that doesn't actually exist. We have no way to do this. There is no operator to do that. So let's go ahead and create an operator. So an addition operator right here. So in my class, I'm going to do my overload, overloaded operators. So first I will do the addition operator. So uh, what I want to do is when you do an addition statement, what's happening is you are taking something, you're adding something else, and this addition operator creates something else that you then assign to this object. So I need to have an object, and this is an object of type cost, and my cost object is going to be an operator plus An operator plus means we're just doing the plus operator with this right here. Now I'm going to receive two pieces. 
I'm going to have the base operator or the base um, object right here plus a right side, a right hand side object. So inside of this, I do a const and so I do a cost and I'm going to do it right hand side and I want to make sure I pass it in as a reference so it doesn't create a new copy. If it creates a new copy that can create all kinds of problems later on if you're working with pointers and other things like that. So we don't, we don't, we don't do that. We want to do a reference. All right, inside of this, what I want to do is create the return object. So I'll do cost temp and then my temp is going to get the values. So temp dot amount equals the one that's going in. So you gotta remember we're using this object. So the whole process starts with this thing right here. So total is this object. And then the right hand side is Apple. So I take this amount plus I want to use the right hand side. The right hand side is passed in as a reference. So I do RHS and instead of using a arrow, I use a dot amount. So this temp amount becomes equal to this amount plus the right hand side amount. And then I return that object. All right. So it looks a little messy, but once we do a few more of these, you'll get the hang of it. So as you might guess, the subtraction operator is basically the same thing. So I got cost operator minus, I pass in my constant reference for the right hand side. And so I want to create a new cost temp. My temp amount is going to equal this amount minus my right hand side amount and then I return temp. All right, let's go ahead and test these out and see what happens. So total should be equal to total plus apple. The total starts with zero because it's just created and then apple is 99. So it should have a total of 99. So I run this. And you can see that now total is 99. I can then do the same thing and say, fine. Now I want to do total equals total plus banana. All right. So now I should add both of them together. I run this. And you can see it's a dollar 68. Now I could have done right up here, just do banana. And then banana plus apple equals total because this is the one that the addition app operator is being tied to. This is the right hand side adding to it. The return value gets assigned to total right here. And so I can take out this thing right here and I can run this. And you can see that banana plus apple still equals a dollar 68. But what if I wanted to do something else? Let's say instead of doing this plus, let's say I want to now add another apple. So I can do total equals total plus apple. That's great, but we have this plus equal operator sometimes. So I'll do a plus equals instead. So plus equals apple. And it says, wait a second, I don't even know what that is. And you think, oh yeah, we need to create that operator as well. So I'll do the plus equal operator. So for this one, it's a little bit different because when you have a plus equals, what's happening is you're taking this total and it's being assigned something, right? You're still passing in this right hand side. The right hand side is being applied to something and so you're taking total and you're adding apple to it and you could actually even do something else you could say you could have another variable like a banana 
equals. So that was actually a possible thing to do. So you're actually passing out something from this operation as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So if I do this, I'm going to do a cost ampersand because I'm going to pass back a reference to an operator and it's the plus equal operator. I'm still passing in the same constant right here. So const cost right hand side. So the reference right hand side. And this time what I'm going to be doing is messing with the right hand side and adding it to this amount. So this amount plus equals the right hand side amount. And at the same time, I also want to return this just so that we can do the thing where like banana equals total. So return and we'll pass back the pointer this. So it's, well, dereference it. So you've got um, this right here, and this is your plus equal operator. So now I can go ahead and run this. I can add an extra apple to my total and run this. So you can see that this is 267 now. It has the apple plus the banana plus another apple. And the minus equal operator is basically the same thing. So cost percent operator minus equals const cost the reference to the right hand side and this amount minus equals the right hand side's amount and then we return start this so there you go with the minus equals operator so these are the overloaded addition operators addition subtraction the plus equals and the minus equals operators you can run it and you can see how it works. It works beautifully.